my nephew, he asks me, Uncle, did you do everything you possibly could to protect the gifts that this earth can give me? And I want to be in a place where I say, yes, yes, I did. We met through the creation of UM EcoMotion. Could you tell me more about that? After completing my, my co-op work term at uh, with Shell in my third year, I was stumbling upon some research that some university programming that they do. And one competition that they host called the Shell Eco Marathon, uh, where teams sort of design, build, and compete ultra-efficient vehicles. Um, and I felt like it was a good use of engineering skills, I suppose, of what we were learning in school. And then I also realized that we don't have a Shell Eco Marathon team. So I made the pitch. I remember meeting with the dean, and the dean was like, yeah, you guys need a space. We have no space. <laughs> But it was also really cool because he was just like, you know, we're just finishing up the drawings for Stanley Poly, the building that we're here today. If you're a new team, we have a new bay for you. We'll just add that into the drawings, right? Which was fabulous because a commotion now is here. How did it influence your master's and career moving forward? It had profound impacts, actually. The master's being overseas, I was able to meet a lot of folks from around the world um, and uh, all of whom had the similar passion to to really develop a clean energy future. The interesting thing for me of that whole experience was I thought I knew where I came from and who I am but being in a place where I had to ha where I was the only indigenous person the only Cree person uh, for a lot of folks I had to really think about actually, who am I? Like, where do I come from? What makes us as Cree people so beautiful and unique? And what do we have to share? You don't just think about yourself, but you think about the community at large. What's some words of advice that you would have for other Indigenous youth working in this, in this space? I think about, like, in the context of, of where I come from, we have land defenders. We have folks who put their own bodies on the line to defend their own territories against uh, basically things that, that the community doesn't consent to. And I think about the warriors that are there for the sake of the community. And I also think that there's a way to show up as a warrior, as a champion, in so many different ways in this future that we want to build together. This future really desperately needs engineers, for example. Engineers to, to, to reconsider the things that they're designing in a, in a new way to build the next generation of wind turbines and thin film solar panels and, you know, modernizing the grid. And so for young people, I say, there is a role for you. 